Okay guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to go through how you disassemble and reassemble the Winchester SXB pump action 12 gauge shotgun. Now there's two reasons why you're here today. Number one, you've just bought one of these, brilliant, and you want to know how you take it apart, put it back together again, and also how you clean it. Well number two, you've already taken it apart, you've given it a good clean, and now you've got a problem putting it back together again. If that's the case, look in the description and it'll show the timeline time of where you've got that certain issue you need to deal with you can click and go straight to it but if i was you just sit back relax carry on watching it's interesting it'd be a lot better than the other videos that you've seen out there i promise you first thing we're going to do is make sure it's safe make sure there's no rounds in there fairly an obvious one but believe it or not there's a lot of people that mess up on this one clearly i've already gone through that you know i am making a video but we can feel inside you can see us close forward back clear at this point now the working parts to the rear, the hammer is now back. So what I'm gonna do is put the safety on. So when I do take it apart, it's gonna keep the hammer back and the working parts in place. So first thing we're gonna do is take the cap off the magazine um, tube. Okay, not gonna be hands are greasy, but we take it off there, job done, put that down. Next thing we're gonna do is take off the barrel. This will then slide straight off. So at this point, especially if you're here because you want to clean it, I really recommend taking the choke out the front of the barrel, okay? Turn it around, take it out. Now you'd be surprised if people don't actually do this and how it can get clogged. This can get clogged up with rust. Okay, really important to actually uh, do. If it gets clogged with rust and it sticks, that ain't coming out and you're stuck, in this case, with a full choke. So you can see now it can get rusty on here where it screws in. Okay, so take it apart, give it a good clean. And like usual, you know how to clean out a bowel. I'm not going to teach you how to drink milk. So we'll put that back down here. Next thing we're going to do is put this forward. And we're going to take the pin, okay, out the side. Now simply push it forward. Some people recommend that this is actually pushed forward from the left side. But on this particular one, it's a lot easier pushing it from the right. Straight out, put that down there. Gerber, great tool to be using as well. Not sponsored by them yet. Right, next thing we take out is the trigger group. I'm not gonna take this apart anymore. If you come to this video and that's what you want me to do, sorry, not gonna go through, but I will put a link in the description to a great video, a guy that will show you in great detail how you take it apart. But if you're just doing a uh, field strip or even cleaning, you can still get in here and give us a good clean without actually taking it apart some more. Look at it, there's a lot of confusing bits in there, no way. But now on video, don't think so. We'll just leave that down there. Next thing we're gonna do is take the hand grip, action wheel and bridge block out now the bridge block now is stuck to the action wheel and there's a way to take this off what you can do is squeeze the back of the firing pin and the bolt together give it a whittle and it's going to come straight off now at this point now do not just release because if you do the firing pin is going to fire across the room with the spring and you have to find it all in worst case you might lose it so we're going to stick that down there for now now, as far as the bridge block, that is all you need to do. You can take the lug out and take the bolt out, which again, if you come here for that too, well, it's not hard. All you're gonna do now is point, okay, something through here, get your pliers and then pull the lug out the, uh, the bottom. When you do that, a spring and a washer is gonna fly out the back. So hold it down, get your pliers, pull it out, okay? And then when you put it back in together, Make sure you line it back up. I've actually got a scratch on mine straight down the middle, which is showing where it's lined up. So when I put it back in, it's turned the right way. So I know then that when the firing pin goes through it, okay, it's going to be seated correctly as I want it. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Also here, you've got your ejection pin on the side. Make sure that is the ejection port side when you put it back in. Okay, that's the side it needs to be. So that's your bridge block. So when we've got the hand guard and your action rail, sometimes you might feel, well, there's no need to actually take this apart. But guys, I really recommend that you do, okay? Again, for this, I'm gonna use my Gerber. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna line it up by here. Hopefully you can see on the camera. And we're just gonna loosen it. And in this case now, I'm just gonna turn it around. 
and it will all come apart. Now, guys, if you use your shotgun in all different conditions, rain, which seems in the UK, we get a lot of rain, okay? Rain water is going to get everywhere, and you'll find a rust inside here. So do take it apart. Slide straight off here at the handguard, okay? You can take action rail off here, okay? Give that a good clean, okay? And again, clean in here as well. This can get really rusty, guys, okay? In with the, um, where it screws on. So that's taken that apart. So now we're left now with the receiver and the stock. Now, again, guys, you can take the stock off. Okay, to which you'd have to use the Phillips screwdriver to take off the um, the butt on the end of the stock. And then you then use a torque screwdriver inside to then take off the uh, stock. But again, we don't need to be doing that for cleaning at this time. The only other thing you can do now, guys, is where we've got the magazine tube, we've got a spring which is holding the cartridges in place. On this one, it's crimped, which only allows two cartridges inside there. We are in the UK and under a Section 2 fire, um, shotgun certificate license. That is how it should be, and that is what this particular shotgun is. But to take the spray out, which is worth doing, you're going to use a very good tool that I use, and it's called a spoon, okay? But it works perfectly. What we're going to do here is we're going to get it inside the groove in the front here. We're going to push it in, turn it around, and then you notice it will come all the way out. Now, I'm not going to take it fully here. So I'm only going to reassemble. Okay, no, I am. I am. I'm going to take it all the way out to the other street. But you can see how tight it is there. Okay. Out it comes. Okay. That simple. Then it's going to take you a few minutes then to slowly put it back in place, which I didn't really want to do because let's make this video any longer. If someone taking a part of rifle, how exciting is going to be? So we're going to keep going here now. Slowly put it piece by piece. Push in with the left hand. Especially with the right hand hold with the left. Then we get this, hook into place, and put it in. And you'll see this little guide on the side, okay? This little uh, ridge there. You'll find a point where it'll then go in nicely. Hold it with your finger, get the other hand with your special tool, push in and turn. And then slowly come back, and you'll notice it'll stop. And as you see, there's a lot of pressure on there that will fly out if you're not ready. Obviously, I want ready. Right, receiver done. So we've now taken that apart. Now I'm not going to teach you how to clean a shotgun, a rifle, or anything like that because, guys, you know how to clean anything. You're just going to spray it, take the carbon off, give it a good scrub, take all the crap off it, make sure you dry it correctly, oil it where it needs to be oiled, and put it back together. Okay, not really hard. You'll know what to do. I do recommend oiling anywhere where you're going to get friction, the metal on metal. You can see on the top here in the receiver where the paints come away. Okay, it's rubbing there. So let's take a little bit of grease up on there. Okay, to keep that smooth when we put the working parts back together again. Okay, try and work work out where you need it. You don't need it everywhere, but just work out where you're going to need it when you put it back to, uh, together and understand everything. So, first thing we're going to do is, first thing we did was take the choke out the bowel. So, we're going to put that back in. Make sure it's clean, make sure it's dry. Put that back into place. Guys, you can get tools for this as well, but I use my finger. You want to do this nice and tight as well, okay? And check constantly that it is in place properly. There we go. Job done. That's the barrel ready. So next thing we're going to do now is put back together the action wheel and handguard. So first thing we're going to do is action wheel, put the tube through here. You'll see there's little grooves now, and you can see on the camera above here and here, so that holds that into place. Now somewhere we've got it, which I didn't actually take off. Outside here, you'll see, is like a sea washer, the shape of a sea. Okay, to put that back in, what I actually do, I put it there. Okay, line it up. It's going to go straight in, then saves messing around. So there it is. Straight into position. You can see there. Lock it all in. Job done. That's all as far in, and that's solid. Okay, you can lock down your finger. So we've got the back here. Get this and put it in by hand. Screw straight on, guys. Really simple. And what we're going to do is go over tool again. Put that in place. You can then just tighten that up. There we go. Okay. Nice tight job done. 
Now, breech block. And if you're watching this video, you're at this particular part where you want to put the breech block back onto the action rail. Okay, so we're going to run to how you do it. So first thing, spring on the firing pin. And we're going to put the firing pin straight through here. And you'll see then it comes straight through onto the bolt. So what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze this together, we're holding it tight. And you see how the breech block now slides up and down. We want to make sure that's towards the back of the finger there. Okay, so it's right towards the back. This will help you then slip it straight on, okay? And this is the problem that you probably haven't put this on. So this part here is going to go straight up. And I hope you can see this on the camera. It goes straight up. Then as you slowly let your finger go forward, it will then clip into place. Okay? It really is that simple. It does take playing with it, but once you understand how it's done, at least then you know what you're doing. Okay? So this is now ready. That's in place. So we're now ready to stick it all back together. So we're going to pick up our receiver. And the first thing we're going to stick on is now our hand, hand grip. I'm going to slide that straight in. Spin upside down. Move the hand guard forward a little bit. And put in our trigger group. So once that's in there, what we're then going to do is get our pin. And we're going to push it now straight into there. The way we put it in was from the right. So straight back in and in it goes. Make sure that's in now nice and tight. So we've now got our barrel on the top. Into place. That goes in nicely. Spin it around. Final thing to hold it all into place is our cap that goes on our mag tube. Okay, that's all nice and tight. Now we need to test it. So let's check the safety again. Safety on, good. Safety off, good. Okay, so we've taken it apart, we've put it back together. We test it, it's now in working order, which it is. And that is how you strip and reassemble the Winchester SXP pump action shotgun. So if you're taking value from this video, guys, Give us a like. Check us out. You've already seen my firearm training film and TV. We teach actors, support and artists how to use firearms for film and TV. We're shooters anyway. This is what we do. This is why we make videos like this and provide you quality content of value. So give us a like, comment, most importantly, subscribe. Tick the bell. It means you'll be kept updated. It's not like I have that many videos out there, but we do some really good ones to follow. So hope you've enjoyed this. Take care and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a like and feel free to interact in the comments below. We love to hear what you've got to say. Click subscribe and don't forget the bell so we can notify you when we have more content. You'll find more videos above here or check out our students in action below here.